Hi, it's uh, the first week in September here in northern Indiana. It's a beautiful late summer, fall day. And if you've read our catalog from Indiana Berry, you know that I talk about oftentimes the biggest weed in the strawberry field is the strawberry plant itself. Well, this is the time where you can really see what I mean by that. A, uh, a strawberry runner, these runners that you see coming out from the main body of the plant here, the main row of the plant, does what we call peg. You have the runner coming from the main plant. This comes out, then the bottom of this runner plant touches the dirt and these roots come down out off the plant and this is what we call pegging when these roots are growing down in the dirt. These need to peg before the middle of August to make a good plant. Then if it was if it was August I'd say come back in here into the row and plant these back into the row. It's really too late right now. This fall this and this and these are all going to try to start pegging but these are actually going to turn into weeds in your field and make it too make it way too populated. So a lot of growers will just end up coming in this time of year in September and just saying, okay, these will be a weed, let's get rid of them. In other words, what we really want is we want a runner to peg to develop these roots, like this plant right here has come out, it's well established. The reason for this is, we really like to see it by mid-August start to peg, because right now we're just starting to develop the fruit buds for next year's crop. All the fruit buds for next, next spring's, next June's crop are developed in the fall. So you got to make sure you have a good, vigorous plant already pegged from the runners to make that fruit, those fruit buds. So now you know why I oftentimes say the biggest weed in a, blue, in a strawberry field is the strawberry plant itself. In the first year production of a matted row strawberry field, you're really out to make a nice matted row of plants. There's no production because remember, if you did it right, you pinched the blooms off last May. So there's no bloom, you had no production off this field. What we're after is developing a nice matted row. For a nice matted row, we want a row that's about 12 to 14, 16 inches wide at the most. But if you look down in the matted row, we want to see a plant about every four, five, six inches in every direction. And if you look, we have a plant here, a plant here, a plant here, a plant here, a plant here. These are all nice big plants that have come up off those, those few plants we planted this spring. This is now growing and building and making good fruit buds here that will be producing next spring. Your maximum crop that you're ever going to get in the spring is made in the fall, right now in September and October. And right here, this bed is going to give us a really great crop next fall. We want a nice narrow row of plants that have all pegged before the middle of August. They will make the fruit buds in September and October and you'll have a really good crop of big beautiful strawberries next June. So plan ahead, don't let them suffer from lack of moisture this time of year. We have our drip tube down here giving them. And if you do that, you'll have a great crop of strawberries next spring. I'm Sam Irwin with Indiana Berry and Plant Company.